In this demonstration, we'll take a look at some of the new tools within ArtCam Jewelsmith 2009. We will start by creating a new project. Then we will import a 3D model. So we right click on the assembly and import. Let's import this horse model. As you can see from the pull down, we can import triangle models and surface and solid models. This horse happens to be an STL file. As you can see it's a full 3D model, but it's quite rough because it's got quite large triangles within the model itself. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create this into a relief to model this. Now to do this we're going to use one of the new tools. It's the embossing wizard. What we do here is we select our viewing direction, how the horse is going to be flattened onto the sheet for us. We select next. We can now apply some perspective so we can get a real view of what we'd expect the horse to look like from our viewing angle. So we can add some perspective to the horse and then we can assign a height to this, a detail height, so the height that the eyes will come out to and this front leg over the rear and a shape height to it. So I'm going for one millimeter for both of these and I'm just going to hide the main horse itself. So as you can see here, we've got some quite nice shape and we've modelled the horse very, very quickly. But we've got a lot of triangulations on the horse. Now we're going to smooth this out using the sculpting tool. But first we're going to come across to our assistant tab and we're going to draw a vector around the outside of this horse. To do this, we can use the magic wand tool and just select anywhere in this white area and as you can see we've got a vector around our horse. We're doing this so we can select a colour and so we can sculpt only within that specific area. So we're going to colour the horse within red and now we're going to come across to our sculpting tools. We're going to open the sculpting tool up into our 3D view I'm going to sculpt only within the red area of the horse. We're going to make sure we're on smooth. We're just going to smooth the horse out slightly. So we'll start to smooth around his legs. Maybe knock the strength down slightly just so it's, it's not too smooth and we're losing too much detail. We definitely don't want to lose much detail. Maybe around the face we want to have more detail so drop the brush down and work around this area around here maybe a bit more around the stomach lightly brush over the feet we zoom in to the face drop our brush down and sculpt the certain areas that we want to smooth out around here Now I'm quite happy with that for now. Smoothing it has lost some of the detail. So what we're going to do is apply this and finish. We're going to adjust the height of the horse and change it to 4mm. So you go, we've started to bring some of the detail of the horse back out if we view it from straight on. And again, we're just going to smooth over the horse within that selected area. We'll adjust the strength up a little bit. We'll try and smooth it out now the best we can. It doesn't matter if there's a few triangulations lying around. Okay. Just a little bit more on the face. So we zoom in, smaller brush. Maybe so we can just get around the cheek. across the nose maybe. Okay, so that looks quite nice. 
and if we just apply and finish we can see we've got our horse quickly modelled. Now one of the new tools within the sculpting is the ability to paint with the relief layer. So we're going to add a bit of a texture to this horse. So instead of using the texture wizard, we're going to open a hair layer. So we're going to open a relief layer of the hair. So we can see exactly what the hair looks like. Our bitmap image of the hair and it's raised it into a relief. We're going to make sure we're on our root assembly. Once we're on our root assembly, we're going to hide the hair and we're going to sculpt with that hairbrush. So we're going to open the sculpting up, come across to our deposit tool. The first icon we have here, deposit, allows us to paint with a specific brush. So if I now hide the one side and zoom in slightly across the body, if I enhance the diameter, you can see we've got a strange pattern here. This is actually the hair itself. So if I wanted to, I can make it thicker hair around the body. As you can see, we've lost a lot of the roughness we previously had anyway. I always go for a small brush around the legs, because typically it's finer fur or hair going down the animal's legs. And across the neck. If we wanted to blend it in a little bit more, we could just enhance the brush. There we go. And just come up to the neck so that's blended in a little bit more. We'll zoom into the head and we're going to use a much smaller brush because you always get nice fine fur, maybe a bit more strength. There we go, a bit more around the horse's face. If we just zoom out, here we have a horse created quite nicely. Now another trick is if we want to bring some definition out on the horse, what we can do is we can just increase the brush strength, sort of raise the height slightly, drop our diameter down, and just sculpt up and down. It'll start to bring out some of the definition within the area. do this around the neck. So we can do quite a new things with the new interactive sculpting. So hopefully from this demonstration you've seen some of the new features with an ArtCam Jewelsmith 2009.